Alright, here we go. We're gonna one shot every boss and we're gonna get the capes. Crooks tank. Come on. Okay, holding cooldowns until the first um, snowball comes out. And then we're gonna get a fat blade flurry. That's the plan. I don't know if this is a good idea or not. It seems like quite a delay. Bro, where's the snow bolts? Bro, where's the snow bolts? Ah, uh, my nameplates aren't on. This was the problem. The nameplates aren't on. I didn't see that I was looking for a nameplate. Oh my god, I'm... I... Ay, ay, ay. God damn it. Okay, well, we had a plan. Okay, Acid Maw. Gonna look for a sweep cast. Make sure we evasion. Evasion's up. That seems like maybe you can't dodge it. Evasion ch dodge chance is so high. I think this is twice now that I didn't dodge it with evasion. The first time I may have pressed evasion too late. That time I definitely had evasion, you know, at the appropriate time. All right, if you get back on the mob quick enough, you may be able to maintain your deadly stack. You saw it just fading off as the guy came up. Okay, someone's running into melee with the fire. I think they're causing a lot of damage. Okay. Probably use killing spree to negate a sweep. See, this is the fire. Watch. I'm gonna go close to him. It deals damage to me if I go close to him. Yeah, I was investigating the properties of that debuff. Try max melee range, see if that's gonna help. Yeah, max melee range works, look at that. No, I was too late with the vanish. Uh, maximum melee range does work to avoid that knockback. Damage taken increased. Love it. Go max melee range. Look at that. Human racial, get out of that thing. Oh, he's moving. There's max melee range. 
Yep, look at that. Person standing right in front of me got knocked back. I did not. You can find all the weak auras on the Discord. Just send a nice little exclamation point weak or WA into the chat. It'll point you and tell you where to go. Okay. I was too late again. I did it right the first time. When we did it uh, in the boss the first time, I vanished this ability. But I've been hitting it just a little bit too late uh, both times uh, here. Bracers of Swift Death. I need that. Haste, Armor Pen, Strength, Glacial Wilds. Yikes. Okay, hang on. This is... Fixed. Okay, so we learned something good here. Let's go back to our notes document. You can go to maximum melee range to avoid the ice, uh, avoid the knockback. This is basically irrelevant if you can avoid it that way. What add on this for raid pack? I don't know what you're trying to ask, but you can find all the add ons and weak auras that I use on the discord. Ready checks are part of the default UI. You don't need an add-on to have a ready check. Grand Warlock Wilfred Fizzlebang will summon forth your next challenge. Okay, maybe this boss we won't um, biff the execution so bad. Poe asks, when simulating combat rogue damage in the spreadsheet, do you know how many percent uptime is calculated on rupture? I think what you're trying to ask is what uptime does it assume you're going to be able to achieve? Um, yeah, I mean, you can dig that out of the back end of the spreadsheet. Above 90%? I don't know. It depends. It depends on your inputs, how much uptime it thinks you're going to get. Okay, here we go. Uh, I think I'm just gonna slice here. Oh, that's the fell fire thing that's going on. Okay. Sure. Oh, I'm dead. Hmm. Oh, well, we did a lot of damage before we died. Hmm. 
unlucky. Why are you using dark matter instead of Mjolnir? Sometimes streamers just you like sometimes just like normal people, streamers use the best items they have access to. Uh, I think at phase two gear level, this is actually just better by a slight little bit. But as you scale up, Mjolnir Runestone gets better. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Let's see if this has a death report for me. Mealy, mealy. Oh, yeah. I, do they have some kind of magical threat mechanic where they like reset threat, or did I just straight up pull threat on those? Uh, yeah, I definitely pulled threat on a Mistress of Pain. I don't know what, uh, how their threat really works. Wait, I thought you guys were just gonna tank it all. I thought that was the plan. Someone said this wasn't a wipe. Yeah, I know, I'm just fucking with you guys. Alright, we go again. Where the hell is Lord J and the little gnome? Oh, there's Lord J. Maybe I've got a... Maybe I should like Tricks of the Trade a tank prior to pressing Blade Flurry Killing Spree. Okay, we got our flask, we got our food buff, instant poison, deadly poison. Okay, everything's looking good now. Okay. The different the thing we're gonna do differently. Wait, this guy's a demon. We could get 200 bonus attack power against him if we equip the war glaives. I mean. You face Daraxus! Lord of the Burning Legion. 100 AP is a lot, that's true. Threat again. I pulled threat again. Alright. What's wrong with my macro? I have three copies of this macro somehow. Do these. I'm not sure if these have some kind of threat reset mechanic. I'm pretty sure that's another pull threat. Let's double check. Shadow damage from nether portal. Shadow damage from nether portal. Melee, melee. He 
Hit me for 10,000. Hit me for 22,000. Then 0.8 seconds later, he hit me for 10,000. That's a lot of damage. Okay, so you, we definitely have to have that um, tricks of the trade up to make that happen. I thought, you know, a couple, they were up for a couple seconds. Thought it wasn't going to be a problem to killing spree them. Turns out uh, it was a problem. Okay, let's look at these. Are they gonna like switch targets constantly? Death grip, taunted, no decay. Are they gonna keep switching? Oh, let's look at the. Maybe the Rady website tells me something about how this works. Oh wait, they uh, they killed it. Okay, let's look, um, Lord J, abilities and mechanics. Charges into a random player, dealing damage to the maximum health. Uh, applies to a player, debuff that deals considerable shadow damage if the affected player attempts to cast a spell with a cast time, also preventing spell from the same spell but in the normal mode. Portal despawns on its own. I don't think uh, there's any kind of. Th this isn't suggesting any kind of threat reset. We got a hunter, we got a this dual wielding, maybe it's a, oh, enhanced shaman perhaps? That looks like a death knight. Oh, they say their name. Oh, they say their class under them. When you mouse over, look in the lower right. Got a shadow priest, got a resto druid, got a paladin. Okay. Damage from area of effect source is reduced by 75%, but this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven targets. It's still good to fan here for total throughput. Hang on, I gotta adjust some people's volumes. Is this in-game music? No, this is Super Smash Bros. Mix.
They're talking about like what they want to crowd control. What do you make of the surveillance spreadsheet? I think it's a waste of time. There's so many people who've asked me about this. I think it's a waste of time and you should not pay attention to it. It's playing with spreadsheets rather than playing World of Warcraft. TFK, oh, thank you for the prime. Welcome to the stream. Love your stream. I should have subbed a long time ago. Well, you're here now, and that's great. As soon as some dudes get close... happening to me. Another Wind Fury totem. Land a big stun there. Wind Fury totem. That guy's dead, and this guy's gonna be dead too now. Lots of parries. Little stun right there. There we go. How's our damage distribution look on this? Volatile Power, Silver Magus Boots, Serenite Sword Breakers. Did a lot of damage with Fan. We were up ahead, like when we had cooldowns up and we were blasting, obviously we were doing really good. Champion's Cash. Oh, that's where we get the loot from this thing. They still... All the fan... At the end of the fan, they all still come out in a line. Minimap is a little bit effed, it looks like. Look at this. Oh, it turned green? Okay. <laughs> Slightly effed. Uh, sure. I think, um... Having a melee run around to capture orbs is a little weird. Um, especially if the healers and range DPS are going to be spread out. If you have everyone stacked on top, then, like, I can just pop out and 
like, prevent an orb from hitting the group. But if people are, like, spread out of melee range, then I'm running around, like, way too much. Yeah, so basically, if one of those little bubbles hits someone of the wrong color, it's going to explode and do a damage to them. But if you have someone of the matching color uh, go pop the bubble, it doesn't do any damage to them and they absorb it. Yeah, they do. I think I go for dark here. Oh, how's my DBM doing? Let's see. Slash DBM. No, the updated DBM we installed apparently is not working. This is 8 million health. I think it's shared between the two mobs. Correct. Okay, so even though this is two targets, I don't think this is going to be a fan of knives situation because one target is light, the other's dark, and I have reduced damage to lights. So I don't think the fan of knives works out to be good here, would be my guess. I mean, we'll still, we'll still blade flurry. Obviously. Too much energy at once. Guy again. Okay, back on the right target. Okay, we're just gonna chill. We up this rupture. There. Okay. Mm. After attack, light bane. Means I want to switch to uh, light essence. Increase damage onto dark. Oh no, I fucked that up. It's confusing as fuck. Also, my interface is not really working 
exactly how I'm used to, so that just makes everything more difficult. Icefall Blade? Is this good? No. Okay, I guess we got Anubarak next. Instant and deadly. Uh, we ended up topping there. That was nice. How much did we hit for with Blade Flurry? 100? We did 100 and Oh my god. You know what I think is happening? I think it's probably not... Worse than what I've got. Okay, so what I think is happening is you're, you're hitting your blade flurries against the primary target and then it's giving you the damage bonus because you're like dark essence attacking a light essence target so you get a damage bonus and then it's blade flurrying and it's cloning that damage onto the secondary target and then it's getting that bonus for the secondary target too because it's a clone. I that That's what, what I've I'm surprised because that's way, way, way more damage than I would expect from a standard Blade Flurry, and I didn't even do that Blade Flurry very well. And, like, normally I expect, like, 100k uh, off of a Blade Flurry. And that was 200k, so there's something, something crazy going on there. Okay, now we go to a new Barak. So, you know, if I actually executed that fight better, I think combat would go way more, way hard. Super insane. Yeah, that, that fight, that Blade Flurry was off the chain. That's definitely a combat fight. Put that in the notes so I don't forget. You're in good interaction with the light, dark bonus damage. This is definitely a combat fight. Am I ready? Sure. Finally got into an old war 10 last night where my guild was aiming to get me geared and all that dropped was the cape from Hodir. Well, that's still something. The, did I just run into something on the ground there. Okay, we're waiting for the ads to spawn to hit coolies. Yep, here we go. Fucking too easy, man. Too easy. We're gonna have to switch to wound poison in the next phase. It's gonna be annoying. That probably should have been a five point rupture. How's PTR? 
fun so far. Uh, I think Onyxia is available. I haven't tried it today. But they said it's supposed to be available. We had a bad opener, too. We, had, we were actually slow to run up to the boss. This is, again, my add-on for pull timers is just not functional right now. Makes it very hard to uh, know exactly when to go into the boss. Oh, we're all dead. Okay, well, we're gonna get another try. I didn't realize it was actually on me. I was thinking it was on someone else who happened to be near me. So that was just me being dumb. Okay. Alright, let's switch up this beat. Elden Ring? Yeah? Yeah, this is a combat fight for sure. And the last one's also a combat fight for sure. <laughs> and Jaraxxus, um... It's a combat fight for sure, but also you got to press tricks of the trade before you press the other things. What's that? Oh yeah, so my slow combat, yeah. Okay. Does Onyxia drop anything good? Yeah, you're going to want to get the Cornerstone Grimoire to summon a skeleton. This is a big deal. Let's get food buff here. Insta deadly. Okay, we're good here. So they're talking about we didn't have lust for that one. But now we do. The uh as usual cooldowns are not resetting on the PTR. It's just bugged. How hard does this feel? This is 10 man heroic. The first four bosses feel pretty easy. This boss feels a little bit difficult. We were we were kind of fucking up quite a bit. Which raid is that? What do you mean? This, what is this raid? This Trial of the Crusader. I always make it look like it's so much fun. Dude, I have a lot of fun playing Rogue. I like it. Yeah. It is fun for me. I try playing my Warlock sometimes. I do not like it. I think the main difference to me is like, as a Warlock... You have to choose between moving or dealing damage. There's a couple things you can do while moving and do damage. But for the most part, you choose one or the other. Whereas on a melee, you can always do both. Let's see if I can do better this time. Okay, our trinkets are gonna pop. That's fine. We 
really want, yeah, here come the burrowers. I want to have a lot of energy, and I want to crack a fat slice and dice. That was good. I wanted to make sure I had a big slice and dice going so I wouldn't have to refresh slice and dice at a time where I would much rather just be pressing fan. back into fan mode here do a uh, slice refresh faint the boss don't have uh, cooldowns this time unlucky okay wait he's pushed into it's a leeching swarm Wait, I didn't even realize we were in Leeching Swarm phase already. <laughs> I was just focused on AoEing the ads. Let's Killing Spree with double trinkets up. Easy. Spalder's the Snow Bandit. Let's need to roll that. Oh yeah, I didn't even swap to wound. Dude, I didn't even realize I wasn't expecting to skip into leeching swarm. <laughs> a noob a rock, true. Yeah, I forgot to put the wound poison on. I didn't even realize until the boss was at 10% that leeching poison was going on. Wait, let me just need roll these. Why did I pass the one? Bro, you don't even have the emblems to get it. I mean, I could trade you them, but you can't test it because you don't have the emblems. Only by working Yo, High Lord Tyrion Forging? He's got the cleansed Ashbringer. Why is yours different? Okay. Okay, let's go. 